Hello and welcome back to Android Mike Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to add a USB hub, a USB C hub. 8 in 1 type C dock station multi port adapter to 4K HDMI, uh, Ethernet, SD, TF card reader, 3 USB 3 ports, PD charging for Mac Pro, Galaxy Pro. Okay, so this is the U Green USB C hub. So as you can see here, here's your hub here, and I've added, uh, and this is we're using this for the new uh, Chromecast with Google TV, okay? So we're adding an extra storage port. So this is a 60 gigabyte uh, USB drive. And I use this also to use my um, uh, keyboard remote, the port that you can use with your, uh, instead of your, um, the remote that they come with it, the infrared one. Okay, so this is the cable that comes with the Google um, Chromecast. Okay, this is the one that comes. So that would originally be powered in over here to your power port for the Chromecast. Okay, so this is adding a whole new feature here. So you got your micro SD, your regular SD port, um, HDMI, another HDMI port, and you have three USB 3 or C ports and you have your Ethernet port right here. So this thing retails for uh, $59.99 on Amazon. But if you are deciding to go with this Google Chromecast, um, it only comes with 4.4 gigabytes of storage. So to put a bunch of apps on there, um, you probably need more storage. Actually, I guarantee you need more storage. So, and also, instead of running Wi-Fi, you can run your Ethernet, okay? So it's, this thing is great for $59.99. If you do a lot of streaming, this is the thing you want. And like I said, you can bypass the Google remote and use your keyboard remote right here, okay? So I can use that right now, use the mouse pad on it and toggle through and do searches without having to worry about using this. The only setback to using this remote is you can't, uh, the back button. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Okay. So once you plug this in, it lights up here and it powers your Google Chromecast. Okay, and that goes right to your TV. So, the first thing you have to do here is... Okay, so welcome back to Android Mic Quick Tips. Now we're going to set up our expandable external USB scan disk 60 gig drive, okay? So first thing you're going to do is go to your settings and hit your settings button. Then we're going to go down to system. Now we're going to go down to storage and you can see your internal storage is 4.4 gigabytes. So that syncs external. We want to, which is really small to put a bunch of apps on here. So we want to expand it. So I showed you we had that USB-C uh, eight port hub. So uh, we're going to click on this and now it's, you could either have set up as a removable storage um, drive or you can set it up as a uh, internal drive so it needs to format your um, 60 gig scan disk uh, USB drive before it will work with your uh, Chromecast so what this does is adds an another drive to it expanding how much you can put on this device and uh, so 60 gigs is quite a bit Okay, so we're just going to wait for it to format. So now, this is tip number one in your uh, um, Android 
quick tip. It's added with your four gigabytes, you have 64.4 gigabytes of storage. So now if you go down here, your apps are on your expandable drive, freeing up space for your um, Chromecast to use as swap files or cached files. Okay, so that being done, we're gonna force all new apps to uh, go onto this drive because they have built-in code that keeps it onto the Google Chromecast. So what you're gonna do there, let's go back to the main menu here, okay? So we're gonna open up developer's options. So you're gonna go to about, and I'm gonna show you, this is tip number two. Okay, go down to the very bottom in your TV OS build. It shows you the build. So now you're gonna hit the center button on your Chromecast remote seven times one two three four five six seven and it now you see down the bottom it says no need you already have developer options open so I've done this previous to this step okay so I'll repeat that again so you go to about and systems click on it go to the very bottom to the build and click it seven times five six seven and it will open up developer options so what that does is if you look in here, now you have your developer options. So that was tip number two. So what we wanna do now is we wanna force all the apps that are installed to go onto this uh, external drive. So click on developer options and you can change everything on this device now. And we're gonna go right down to the bottom here. Um, right down. Okay, and yeah, it's quite a bit of stuff on here. So this is, okay, right here, there it is. Force allow apps on external. So let's click that on. So it makes any app eligible to be written to the external storage regardless of the manifest values. So if they put a code into it to put it right on the internal thing, it will now be forced to go onto the external drive, okay? So that was your tip number two, um, adding um, to your existing storage. Okay, so tip number three, we're gonna add um, file link. And if you've heard of file link before, it's a file link store. Um, we're gonna add it so you can add third-party add-ons and apps to this device because right now you can only allow it only allows you to add Play Store um, apps. So now we're gonna do any kind of APKs. So first thing you wanna do is downloader app. You wanna download the downloader app. So here's downloader, okay? We wanna install it, hit install. And so now, like I said, it's gonna to install to your external drive. Okay, we wanna open it up. So I'm gonna show you, you wanna allow the permissions for the storage Okay, so now we want to download um, file link. So let's just go up here. Dot file. Link. And this is all you have to do to install it. Dot. C O M. Okay, now go to the go button, connect, and it's going to want to have permissions. So let's go to the settings here and right down here. So you can allow all these permissions. Okay, let's go back and we want to install file link. Okay, install. And when you install file link, it's going to want permissions too. So this is step. Or tip number three for your Android device for your um, Chromecast with Google TV so let's push open now we uh, click on storage and continue so now it's going to want to um, us to allow permissions for it to put anything onto okay so here's my code this is for my file link stores so it's uh, nine five five six five two four one okay nine five five six five two four one hit continue 
and now it's going to open up my Android Mic Quick Tips store. So you're going to get a couple pop-ups, push dismiss, okay, and then that'll disappear and there'll be one more pop-up. So first of all, you want to stay safe, so click and download IP Vanish onto your device. Okay, IP Vanish will block your IP address so nobody can hack into your device. And also, if you're from another country and you want to see other country content, they have geo blocking. So this way you can put uh, the VPN, virtual private network, to any country and allow the content to be streamed from other country. Okay, so below in the description, I do give a really good discount right now. So click on IP Vantage, download it, and uh, it's a really good deal right now. Okay, so now we're going to go down to uh, show you how to install some apps. So these are third-party apps that you cannot find in the uh, Play Store. So first, if you look to the right, there's a download button. Click on that. So it's going to download to that USB storage that you've, you've allowed um, the external storage to work. Now click play on the right. And so this is now going to install it. So see it says file link needs permission. So hit settings and now go down to file link and click it on. Now you're allowed, you're allowing the permissions to install apps from file link to your device. Okay. Now we're going to hit that little play button again and we're going to hit install. So that is all there is to it, to installing any app off any file link on the internet. Okay, if you know the code, um, you can install any app. So my file link store is full of apps and they're not hosted on anything that I have these apps. They're readily available on the internet to download, okay? So that is tip number three, how to install um, file linked onto your Google Chromecast with Google TV. So that's three tips today, okay? I have those in a previous video, but I've broken them down just to install these three tips, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting out videos, but this new Chromecast is pretty amazing. Um, like I said, if you comment on my videos, I do give prizes away. I put everybody's name in a draw at the end of the month and I will announce who the winner is. So I have all kinds of cool gadgets. Okay, so enjoy your day and we'll see you again.